My career prior to City Lit, I was working in advertising. I'd been a digital designer at that time for about maybe 13, 14 years. Um, and I was working across media. I did video, I did a lot of campaign work. Um, it's pretty full on. And I think um, coming to City Lit, I wanted to reconnect to who I was as a creative person. I studied the City Lit Art and Design Foundation, which I completed in 2015. And the course was for just over a year. And for me, it was a way of me exploring what was important to me as an artist. And I got the opportunity to try different things and to really push um, an experiment. So my time here was really enjoyable. I came to City Lit because I wanted to develop my artistic practice. And City Lit very much helped me with that. Um, while I was on the course, I was freelancing part time, but it gave me the space to really contemplate what was important to me as an artist. And I had a lot of support from the tutors, um, particularly transitioning from graphic digital design into the realm of fine art. So the course gave me a really good grounding um, in artistic practice and generating my own ideas and responding to things that I'm interested in. Anyone interested in joining the Foundation Diploma course should be prepared to work hard, be prepared to be inspired and challenged, um, it's quite an intense course, so uh, even though it's part-time, there's a lot to do. So I think you just need to be open to that and really open to contributing and working with others as well. Life after City Lit. Well, I actually um, got straight onto an MA after City Lit. I did MA drawing at Wimbledon. And then in 2020, I quit my day job in advertising and I'm now working full time as an artist. And uh, it's been pretty intense. I've been busy. Uh, my career has taken off in a very good way. And um, I'm currently working on a commission for the Liverpool Biennial, which opens in June this year.